Hello there everyone, Destroyer here. Today I'll be doing a quick tutorial on how to play Lord of the Rings Battlefield Middle Earth 2 online. So, and I'll be doing that through Game Ranger. So, um, first thing you're going to want to do is open up uh, Google or whatever, type in Game Ranger, or you can just go to GameRanger.com. And here we are, GameRanger.com. So, uh, the official servers for Lord of the Rings Battlefield Middle Earth 2 have been shut down ages ago. I remember the day. It was a sad day. But that is uh, old news to anyone who knows this game exists. Um, so if you try to play online without any third party uh, programs such as Game Ranger or there's a couple others. There's like Tungle and there's TA TA3 or whatever, Third Age 3, something like that, servers. You can look into that if you want. Um, I'm going to be getting Game Ranger because that's my preferred platform to do it on. So we're going to need to click download Game Ranger. And you'll get this pop up it says Game Ranger setup exe. I'm not going to save this file because I already have one here. And I've already had it installed for ages. I'm not going to install it just to show but uh, and it has instructions right here. Run the game setup application. Okay, create a new a free account. They are free. So it's no, uh, no loss to create account. It doesn't Take anything personal or whatever, I don't think. You just need an email address, really. You could even make a fake email and just give it to that. As long as you can get into it and uh, validate your uh, account. So activate your account, log in, and then you can uh, you can get to the game thing from there. So uh, once you install it, if you uh, go here, you run your EXE. Mine says this because... Uh, I already have it installed. You do all that nonsense, you'll end up with a shortcut or probably a desktop shortcut. I have mine pinned in my taskbar, this little G here, and I can open it from there. Now my game ranger is open. This is my friends list. You can add people from down here and it'll, uh, you can do it by email, account IDs, and nicknames. Nicknames are the people's actual names here, like all these names here. And down here in this test bar whatever this is how I get to my game ranger I can also get through this arrow if I open up and then open game ranger so here's the game ranger it's a, basically a list of games that people have opened for certain games you can actually use this for a lot of games I have favorited Lord of the Rings Battle from Earth 2 you can do that uh, somehow by making new groups or whatever let me uh, look at that. See, you can click uh, what games you want. There's tons of games that uh, this game's uh, platform thing supports. Uh, you'll probably start off in all games. It'll probably say all games, and you'll have to scroll down to uh, whatever you're looking for. That's why I have mine favorited, so it just uh, skips all that nonsense, because who's got time for that, really? And from here, uh, this is the list of games people have put up to join. Let's see, let's take a look real quick. This is, uh, the number here is very important. This is your patch number you're on. So 1.00 is the patch number this person is running his game on. And you have to be on the same patch to play with this person. So if you're on patch 1.6, you cannot play with a person on 1.00 and vice versa or anything like that. So, um, that is good to keep in mind as well. Let's take a look at other things. Uh, there's 2v2, obviously. That's 2 versus 2. There's FFA, means free-for-all. No rules. There's there's a little code of conduct for Game Ranger. People generally abide by and they will get mad at you for not abiding by it. <laughs> it's a little strange, but I see why they do it. You'll have to learn that yourself. I'm not going to go over all the rules I know, in this video at least. Um, and yeah. And 4K means there's 4,000 resources starting out. That's usually what I do. And you have 1K games as well. There's also like Fort Defense games here. There's all kinds of games. And if I scroll down, there's also Rise of the Witch King expansion games. Like this is a mod, 1.3.7.1. So there's the Dane right there, 4.01 patch version. And 2.02 .02 patch version. So there's all kinds of games you can join. Is what I'm trying to get at. You can also host your own game. If you click host. And this little thing will pop up. 
you can select the max amount of players. You can uh, type in whatever you want. I can make this a 2v2 if I wanted to. And then I'll just uh, password it. One. Just so people don't join. Because I don't want anyone thinking uh, that I'm actually playing. And from here, this will pop up. It does play ads. Uh, let's just close that. Somebody's trying to message me. No thanks. I'm just trying to do a video at the moment. Not really trying to play. Um, that will pop up, and these will play ads. Game Rangers Lobby. So actually, what what I do? Open the volume mixer from down here. <laughs> God, damn it, man. And then uh, you can scroll over to the room. It'll say room, Battle for Miller 2, whatever, and you can hit this mute, and that will mute all the mod or the ads playing. So that is actually very handy to keep in mind. And yeah, from here you can actually change your room options. If you click room options, you can kick users, and this is how you launch your game. I can't launch by myself. But if you do click launch, make sure your game is not open, but also have your game ready to go. And once you click launch, it'll auto-launch the game for you. So that's very handy. So we'll close that game. And let's see what else. Uh, that's not quite about it. I'm going to launch the game without, uh, without doing it through Game Ranger. I'm just going to straight up launch it. And I'll show you a little bit of the lobby that you'll be playing through. Not in actual practice, but uh, just kind of showing how it works. Oh, I thought it froze for a second. So, when you go to multiplayer here, you'll see the word online. This is no longer active. This does not work anymore. So, this, this online screen is no longer useful. It is no longer powered by GameSpy. It's a shutdown. They shut down the servers a long time ago. It was a sad day, I remember it quite vividly. But you'll be playing through network nowadays. And you'll end up in this lobby a lot. You can change your name. I usually have to fix my name to Destroyer because the Destroyer 001 won't fit in this little nickname thing. But uh, you will end up here and the game you'll join will be here if you're joining someone else's game. Or if uh, you, you were hosting the game, it will automatically actually make the game for you. I'll go to create a game real quick just to show you the lobby. You uh, choose your map. Pretty standard stuff. If you choose your rules, you can 1000, 4000, etc. You can change anything you want. Command point factor. I tend not to mess with that. You have those options there, obviously. And uh, this is important. If uh, you join someone's game, you're, if you're not the host, you have to type in the chat every now and then, or else the game will automatically kick you from the from the lobby back to uh, this screen here. And then you'll have to rejoin their game, which can be quite a pain. So just make sure you're kind of typing along. It doesn't matter what you type, just as long as you're kind of being active in the chat, it will it'll notice you're in the lobby. And then you can also choose your teams, etc., etc., play a game. And yeah, that pretty much uh, sums up that. So I'll exit out of this. Uh, one more thing about this lobby. This little green mark means the game is already running. Like, this person's game is already going, so you can't join that game. And there's a lock, meaning you can't join that person's game. That's uh, pretty straightforward. The amount of players is over here. How many is already in the game. And yeah, I think that's it. So, let's see. I think that's been helpful enough. I hope that's been helpful. And yeah, I hope to see you guys on Game Ranger playing online. So I hope this has helped you out. Leave a like if it has. That'd be cool. And I will see you out there.